morning fellas it's like 5 a.m. so even before we get the video started you know I gotta crack an energy drink up I don't know what it is but usually I drink this is a rain I've actually never tried this before that's like this is like a old or an orange popsicle orange dreamsicle flavored and it's like odd how much that actually tastes like the um, I don't know what the name of the popsicles are, but the popsicles that are orange and they have like a white filling almost. I guess maybe that's what a dream sickle is, that makes sense. Uh, but damn, that's good. But I recently realized that if I drink a monster that's like 160 milligrams of caffeine or whatever, I feel nothing. But then I drink one of these which has legitimately like 300. If I can just drink one of these a day just to get me up in the morning, especially if I'm on lack of sleep. I actually feel it, which I never feel any other drinks that are caffeinated, so I don't know if I just have like a really high caffeine threshold, but that's the side of the point. Today we're going to be talking about everybody's favorite sport, YouTube boxing. This shit is getting out of hand. Everybody wants to be fucking George Foreman in his prime, Muhammad Ali, uh, Pernell Whitaker. I mean, I, I really do not get this, and they all suck for the most part, except like Jake Paul. Um, I know some people riff him, but, you know, he's pretty good for somebody who's only been training for, what, three and a half years by now? Um, but everybody wants to do it. I don't know why people are so interested in giving other people brain damage. Like, um, you know, you can't really tell. What fucking year is it? But, you know, I got I grapple a lot. I mean, I, I do some sparring now and then. It's not like I'm against fighting or anything, but I had bad cauliflower ear that completely shut my ear yesterday, and I had to get it drained. I was going to put pictures, I was going to videotape them and put it on YouTube, but um, I don't know if you can do shit like that on YouTube, but I may throw some pictures up on Twitter, go follow me over there, Social Veracity. The two elite fighters I want to talk about today are FaZe Rug, I'm not very familiar with his work, I'm familiar with FaZe though, and uh, Aiden Ross, I don't know if this is like an optic guy, if they're just like rebuilding rival rivalry, this dude looks like fucking business but anyways just scrolling on twitter and you know how on twitter you see shit that literally has nothing to do with you like you're like uh somebody that you followed cousins like this picture of somebody who commented therefore you see their shit and you're like okay um i don't know how the fuck that happened let's make sure my webcam's up here you just see people that you are just so unrelated to and the content you look at is so just not related. So I've seen a post where he said, it's official, I'm fighting. <laughs> Fucking alarm. I probably destroyed somebody's eardrum. <laughs> um, it's official, I'm fighting Aiden Ross. Aiden Ross, Aiden Ross, I'm going with Aiden. End of 2021, it's time to get in shape and get ready for this journey. Bro, like why? Um, before we read the comments, let's go to Aiden Ross. Um, Look at some. I mean, this dude looks. I mean, trust me. Like I'm looking at you, bro, and I'm looking at Phase Rug. Trust me. <laughs> trust me when I tell you, buddy. You ain't no boxer, which is cool. You don't have to be, but this is the thing. Is if it was it like, dude, why don't you just hype up a for a Fortnite creative match? Like, why does it have to be boxing, bro? I guess they're just people that really don't understand fighting and the grave consequences that it could have like dude you could give somebody irreversible irreversible permanent brain damage for what uh six months of training bro like come on i guess uh, i mean dude if this is somehow deemed as a professional fight i swear to fucking god hand to god i will never watch another boxing event um i don't really watch that much boxing as it is i'm a pretty casual boxing fan but like I don't I don't get this dude. Like Jake Paul's not a professional boxer. Neither is Logan Paul, to be honest. And yet these social media influencers are achieving pro status by what? Getting their ass handed to them all fucking training camp and then beating somebody who's never fought before. I'm sorry, Rug, I love your channel. I'm not trying to hate, but you're not a boxer, you're getting dropped. Yo. I love you, but I got 20k on my man's aid in securing for SSB, sadly. Again, I don't know these dudes, so maybe I'm going to see some nomenclature I'm not familiar with. Who knows? It's an exposi uh, exposition. He's going to try to kiss you during the event. 
get that off my screen. This shit is getting out of control. Just stop. There it is. Per you don't need any other tweet than that. Am I logged in on here? Let me just retweet this dude shit real quick, yo. Put me on the card. Small YouTuber that just covered YouTube boxing. Yo, imagine that is like your your forte, your line of work, is you just cover the amazing YouTube boxing. Dude, come on, man. Anyone willing to bet I got rugged? Oh, how do people say this, though? It's like the people who watch, like, one big, like, UFC card, and they, like, post on their snap, they're like, yeah, I've got Conor McGregor by fourth round TKO. It's like, what the fuck do you know? How are you going to pick somebody? You know nothing, which is fine, but don't act like this dude's like, I got rugged. It's like, by, by which metric? Like, how are you judging this? Well, what has FaZe Rug shown you? What has this guy shown you that makes you be like, oh yeah, definitely, he's definitely winning this. Uh, not that looks matter, but that's the thing, you have nothing to go off of. Maybe if there was some pad work or sparring footage, but he said this three days ago, and it's currently 5.30 in the morning, Eastern Standard Time, so it's like, you've never thrown a punch before this, like, I'm looking at you, bro. You've never thrown a punch before this, and this dude's already betting on you. Come on, dude. Let's have a talk about that. Um, and then also, real quick, I'll just mention this. Bradley Martin. Back in the day when I was big in the uh, bodybuilding scene, I knew this dude. And he's pretty cool. He said some shit. And this is a big-ass boy as, as well. Um, I thought he posted something about it the other. I mean, I'm going to get effing shredded and drop the weight so I can jump in the ring with these YouTube uh, tubiers. I guess he just switched the T and the Y around. That way they can't say I'm too heavy. Bro, trust me. Where's he at? Let me see a picture of him. You think this dude would not gas after one round, which is cool, but if he knocks somebody the fuck out, it's like, do you really want to give somebody brain damage when you're not in that line of work just for some YouTube clout? But this dude, from what I know, I don't haven't followed his shit in a while. But apparently this dude is all about the clout. Anyways, I just want to make that video bang a video out before I play some Arkham City. Been going through the Batman series recently. And uh, then head to work. Uh, appreciate you guys for watching.